Hey guys, Toby here. Please watch to the end of the video. I'm gonna update you on my off-season plans and what I got coming up next. But for now, I'm just gonna chill out uh, and take some downtime because it's been a big year. I really hope you enjoy the video. Sit back, relax, and I'll see you at the end. How do they say three in French? Trois. All right, the boys made it to the finish of stage three out of five. It was a hard stage. Leo and Karen had a good day again, 23rd, 27th. Um, made it over the first climb with the main well, front group. Uh, first 30K, we did two circuits and then descended a valley. I spent a lot like of the time trying to get in the early break, which did not form, unfortunately. I came in pretty cooked into the first climb but went into recovery mode and then kind of set my tempo found a gruppetto and rolled it to the last climb where i just rode my pace to the top and i think i finished top 60 i'll have to double check but it was a hard stage i think it was it was almost 4 000 kilojoules in four hours so big day big day ready for a nap Not the worst place to get stuck for a while. Cooper has some doping control, so we're just waiting for him to get that sorted out, but it's taken a while, so. Tomorrow's the queen stage. It's gonna be hard, but looks like the break might go early, so we're just gonna roll dice again. Late dinner tonight, say 15. This is what dinner looks like. Got some pasta, some pesto, and some bolognese. Wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow's a big day been a long day good day though every day is getting better i got 53rd today i was the third man and so i went for it because you know every second counts on that team team placement so go happy with my performance i was able to push myself for pretty hard but uh, still a little limited with my injuries but i'm coming back coming back see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Sambo. Alright. All right. That's day four done. Here's the post race grub. Um I want to preface that this is rough. I'm not having a good time. Boys, vibe is immaculate. Staff, vibe is immaculate. The actual race, it's a suffer fest. Rolled the dice again for an hour and 30 minutes trying to get in the early break. Super hard. Then just made it to the first climb and found my pace. I rolled through the second, the first valley with one dude, caught another Gruppetto and then dropped them on the last climb and it's just a fight fest. I mean, there was a 4K climb about 30 Ks into the race today and I was almost dropped. I was the last rider who made it onto the tail end of the peloton. Everyone behind me uh, did not finish because they were out of time cut. No, because we still had about 100K to go after that and uh, three big climbs. So I'm in the trenches, but I'm still fighting. I was probably at that point like 90th and I finished 50th today. I probably passed like 30 people on with the climbs 
and I'm not giving up. It's just, it's hard. Uh, every time I hit a bump, my elbows hurt. My back is messed up. My neck is really sore from the crash, even though my head's all right. My ankle is swollen. It's just shit. Both my knees are missing chunks. One is missing a lot more chunks than the other. And it's just... <sighs> Cycling's hard. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. Like, it's a post-race sandbow, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna grub this and then just do nothing. See you tomorrow, final day. One more day. The grub. Final stage. Been lit for the post race sambo. Hard stage, but we're done. Yep. See you, man. Karen, bro. Drink some spices for me. Post Lazard grub. We got got some tacos, got some fries, got a burrito. Yummy. Good reward for a little jaunt through the Pyrenees. But, uh, quick jaunt. Quick jaunt. Not so quick for me. <laughs> enjoyed it if you want to show me some support i'd really appreciate a like a subscribe and any comments or critique on my videos so far you guys really have shown great support and i'm super excited to make more videos as for what's coming up next i'm going to be making a summary of my 2022 season and then i'll be getting ready to move to girona uh, for four months uh, i'm really stoked for that and i have a really cool place and it's just gonna be awesome to make more videos there with my friends and whatnot um, as for my injuries, I'm doing all right. I'm gonna have some pretty gnarly scars and my sleep's been kind of sucky because it hurts to move around. All my joints are scabbed up, but I'm doing all right. I'll be okay. Um, and that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.